Hello everyone, Phil here from PC Games N and I'm joined by Matt. Hey there. And we're going to be talking about Sniper Elite V4. It's no, 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 Phil, it's just called Sniper Elite 4. There's no V. Was there not a... There's not a V anymore. They only did that for V2. Oh, well, for... F and we're going to be talking about Sniper Elite 4. There's no V in it anymore. They only use that for V2, as anyone will know. So, it's the return also of the... The famous Carl Fairburn, one of PC Gaming's icons, Matt. Yeah, absolute uh, icon. And uh, he has been the protagonist of the series the entire time. Um, although he likes to keep quiet, I suppose, and just get on with the sniping. Uh, and this time, Matt, you found yourself... Uh, you've been playing the game. Yes. And you found yourself in a more open world environment than we're used to from the series so far. Yeah, that's true. So um, it feels like that over the years that kind of Sniper Elite has been gradually sort of building to this. When I chatted to the guys at Rebellion, they said that it wasn't kind of like a long-term aim, but it feels like it's grown to the game it should be. So what you've got now is, rather than kind of like Sniper Elite 2 was very kind of corridory, I guess. It was a bit more of a traditional sort of old-school shooter. Uh, Sniper Elite 3 went a little bit larger, but now that the development doesn't have to sort of like deal with the last gen of consoles... It's just for PC and like PS4 and Xbox One. It's got a lot more kind of power to deal with the fact that it's doing large kind of open environments. So the thing that comes to mind when you play it is it's a little bit like Hitman, I guess. Mm. It's it's not, it, it doesn't ape, it's not trying to be Hitman. It's not sort of like blending in with environments or finding kind of like lots of weird tools to do things with. No disguises. No, no, it's not that. It's, it's, it's much more of a kind of sniper a stealth sort of game. But what you do have is you have that, right, you're dumped. So, for example, the, the mission that I played is the first mission in the game. You're dumped on this island, uh, San Salini, and it's like this beautiful kind of Italian sort of villagey farmland sort of place. Mm. And what you've got is um, you start kind of like docks there, and it's a case of, okay, there are numerous objectives in this map. There's uh, your core objective, which is to, uh, to assassinate a general. Uh, he's got some staff on the island. There are three kind of officers that you need to assassinate as well. And there's also a bonus objective of destroying some propaganda cameras that are filming there. And it's a case of, okay, you've got the tools, which is mostly sort of like the rifle on your back and anything you find out there, go out and do that. And earlier on, you mentioned that you're able to use all your sort of weapons and equipment in two different ways. So not just like an alt fire with a sniper rifle, say, um, but things like bandages and mines and things can be used they've got a secondary purpose as well yeah yeah so um as i mentioned you know you've got you've got this rifle which is you know the main sort of weapon in sniper elite and for example if we're going to talk about that is you've got uh if you just you know fire as you would you're going to produce a very very loud crack of the rifle um your secondary sort of like fire in terms of that is if you open the weapon wheel and select its secondary sort of purpose is to load suppressed ammunition into it, which isn't, it's, it's not a thing. It's, um, you know, it, suppressed ammunition didn't exist in the Second World War. There were kind of suppressors and stuff like that, but this, the way they've done it doesn't exist. But the whole premise of it is, is it's things that are kind of plausible. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, it's that is to load in sort of like silence weaponry, basically, so that you can do long shots without sort of attracting attention, because that's something that, like in previous games, if you wanted to do a long shot without attracting anybody to your area, you do it like to coincide with like planes coming overhead or lightning claps or things like that. You can still do that because the suppressed ammunition is in very short supply, but it means that you can kind of like do a long range shot with uh, with a silencer. But in when it comes to everything else that you've got in your uh, your inventory, like for example um, mines, so you can set a, a landmine and when you put it down. Um, if you put it down in its normal configuration, it's just a case of whenever any, anybody steps on it, it will explode. Um, standard mine procedure. Yeah, yeah, standard. As you know, as it said, as it comes in the box, I yeah. guess, with the standard instructions. Uh, Sniper Elite's kind of spin on doing it as an alternate fire is that you've got uh, a two-step approach. So what that would do is like one man would come in, step on it, it wouldn't go off. When the next person steps on it, it will. That sort of sounds a bit useless to begin with. And when I was experimenting with it, I was like, well, what exactly does this do? What it turns out it's really good for is if you place it in the doorway of a door and sort of like attract people to you, the first guy is going to run in and he's going to step on that mine and nothing's going to happen. And he's going to be about to raise his rifle to sort of like take you out. His buddy is then going to come in behind him. 
when he steps on it, the landmine's going to explode, killing that guy, the guy that's now in front of him that was in the room with you, and the guy that was behind them that was about to come in the room after them. So you take out a nice big sort of wave of three rather than just just one guy. That sounds like good fun. Um, mm-hmm. Do you still have to sort of mask your shots and things? I remember in, in 3, not V3, as I keep wanting to <laughs> say, you had to sort of wait for tanks to fire or for church bells to yeah. ring or all these mm-hmm. implausible big sound events to happen so that you could take a perfectly silent shot and you wouldn't give away your location. Mm, yeah, like I say, you can you can time it up with like thunderclaps and uh, there was no thunder in the mission that I was playing, but there was planes that were flying over. Okay. Um, so those are kind of like... I guess that's part of where the satisfaction comes because even though Sniper Elite has got this kind of odd, almost kind of tongue-in-cheek element to it with the X-ray cam, which is still very much, you know, here. Um, you know, you've got sniper bullets drilling their way through skulls and, like, making eye sockets pop. and Wouldn't have it any other way. You know, the, the typical testicle explosion. It's um, become a, an iconic yeah, image in the Sniper Elite franchise at this point. Distinctly so. Um, but while that is all kind of very tongue-in-cheek, kind of B-movie-esque, yeah. what you've got is the actual sniping mechanics are actually quite... You know, almost simulation level. They're not. You can you can play it on a much easier sort of level, which is the when you actually hold your breath in it, it will put a marker on your scope to say this is where when all the bullet physics and bullet drop ballistics come into it. Yeah. This is where your bullet's going to hit. That's but if how you, I play it. Yeah. It's if just you, a nice <laughs> satisfying red circle, like somewhere way off to the right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and up a bit that you never would be able to work out usually. Mm-hmm. But if you if you don't want that, if you want to actually play it as a simulation sniper game, you can you can just up the difficulty. And yeah, that obviously increases the AI around you and stuff like that. But what it also means is that you have to you have to take your time with shots, which then coincides back into the idea of of you know masking your shots with the environment because you can't just sit in a bell tower going crazy like the guy from Saving Private Ryan, I guess, or like just taking out, you know, guy He after missed guy. some shots. He did know? miss some it's shots. Very and, realistic. Yeah. <laughs> he said a little prayer, <laughs> reloaded, and then he shot another man. Yeah. Uh, there's also some multiplayer to talk about. So there's a sort of wave-based survival, to no one's surprise, but I think that's a really welcome addition. I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to playing that. And another mode as well, which owes a little bit to Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, yeah. So um, the idea is is that um, Rebellion don't want Sniper Elite to be a bit of a one-trip pony. So you could sort of like, you know, traditionally it's been a game of long-range kind of like engagements. Um, so Control, which is one of their new multiplayer maps, which fits in alongside the multiplayer suites that we've seen before um, from Sniper Elite 3. What you've got is Control basically drops in um, like pallets of stuff um, and two teams fight for control of it. It reminds me a lot of... Um, worms? The, <laughs> maybe a little bit of worms. It sounds yeah. a bit worms. The, the Battlefront comparison is kind of like there's the, the drop zone, I think it is, is the maps uh, and modes from Star Wars Battlefront where yeah. you're fighting over kind of like the drop pods that come down. This is a very 1940s take on it where you've got big pallets being dropped with huge plumes of like blue or red smoke. Um, yeah, very much kind of fighting over that between your teams to keep control of it. And there are numerous drops throughout the map. And I think it's the first to five controls. So the idea is that you, you're always being drawn towards a certain point. Yeah, you exactly. You can't spend the whole round just mm-hmm. glitching through a bush. Yeah, exactly. And what that does is it means that there's a much more variety in terms of the weapons that people are using. And you can do all this in single player. You, know, you don't have to play single player as a pure sniping game but what you with the multiplayer because there's more people engaged and you need to be close to the control point there's a lot more kind of use of submachine guns and you know the early assault rifles like the mp44 and stuff like that it's quite fun for um there's normally um like rose bushes that are around i found it quite fun to hide in one of those very close to the objective and then wait for someone to come to them and just pop out and stab them in the neck with a knife and drag them back into the bush and that's what Matt finds fun. That, that is what the I The man who fun. I'm sharing a room with, that's what Matt finds fun. <laughs> that's a great place to leave it, I think, while I've still got uh, a chance of running and uh, making it to the door. Remember to subscribe to PC Games End for more PC gaming goodness. And also, much like the famous Carl Fairbairn in Sniper Elite, remember to hit the bell as well to earn that silent sniping kill <laughs> slash keep really well informed with PC Games End's YouTube goings on. We'll catch you next time.